Let's go sailing, let's go. 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 Looks like the winds are between 12 and 15 knots. It'll be running all day today. Hmm, what reef should we set? I've got to determine which reef to set. Wild Child hasn't made a YouTube video in a while because the, all my cameras broke, my phone broke, everything died electronic on the boat. Good news is, being a very smart girl, I did manage to save this camera that I'm filming on so I can film something for you. That's good. We're currently in um, Crab Key, northern Abacos of the Bahamas, and we're staging to make our run across to Florida. We're going to run 40 miles today up to Great Sail Key, and then tomorrow we're going to make the crossing uh, from Abacos to Florida, to Cape Canaveral, Florida. We've got a good weather window and good conditions, which I'll show you later. Today's sails should be easy and in protected waters, and if we're really lucky we don't smash the keel on an underwater sand shoal that we can't see. Not happy. Okay, stop it, please. Gotta come down. Ah. Yeah, you're good. Go finish the anchor. We got to, um, we're raising a double reef main right now because. The abacos around here are very, very shallow, and I've got decent wind, and Wild Child is such a fast boat, she doesn't actually need a lot of sail to go fast. If we do hit a sh unmarked shoal, or shallow, or rock, slow motion crashes cost less, right? So the slower you go, the less you pay for the mistake. So I'm under sailing with a double reef main, because... because I don't need to go full speed. We're only doing 40 miles today, the Great Sail Key. And uh, I'm trying to slow this racy girl down. Dove the hull yesterday and cleaned the boat speed paddle wheel from underneath the boat. Still not giving a reading. It means we're gonna have to pull it out and clean it proper tonight. 14 feet. In case any of you out there were ever wondering where the center of the world is, it's actually a rock in the Bahamas. Let me show you. We're running dead down wind and light wind, so Wild Child's gonna pull out the Jenny. I've got my crew up on deck. She's got the whisker pole attached to the clue, to the Jenny sheet on the clue. Push out now. She's gotta get the other side of the... Oh, bring it down. Well, yeah, put it, leave it high up. Yeah, put it up there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's fine then. Yeah. Wild child, child is now flying wing on wing, which is one of the sexiest sights you can see on a sailboat. 
The only sexier thing would be a spinnaker, of course. We sailed more slowly when the depths were lower. When we were down around 14 and 15 feet deep, I kept Wild Child at four knots. As we're moving slowly now into slightly deeper water out of the safety depth, I've increased Wild Child's speed by increasing her sail area. She's doing just fine. We've been sailing along the northern bank in the Abacos for hours and hours now. And I just want to show you guys something. It's like, what's the depth? Seventeen. It's 17 feet deep and you cannot see land in any direction as far as the eye can see. And we're worried about hitting bottom. There are sand shoals that come up to 8 feet deep around here. And there is no land in sight. It's weird. It's a very special feature of the Abacos. And that's our depth. You kind of have to wonder why it's called Propeller Bank, the shallows south of Great Sail Key. But we're approaching them now and the bottom's getting ever closer to my keel. 